Thank, Thank you. you. We now take three quick questions from civil society that are here, and they will be up on the screen also. And here. I am Lachman no. Rizelfa, no. an indigenous person from Nepal. I'm with Asian Indigenous Peoples Bank, the regional organization of indigenous peoples that has 47 members in 14 countries in Asia. My question is, trade agreements cement conditions that contradict both Agenda 2030 and international law. One UN expert suggests elements that may be illegal as they contradict the UN Charter. So how will you address competing sources of international law? from Burkina Faso, CEO of Abze Solar SA and the leader of the initiative Marmalade for Sustainable Energy. In several countries of Africa, 90% of urban and rural workers have informal jobs. On average, for all of Africa, 84% of women are informally employed as compared to 63% of men. As a new Secretary General, how would you empower informal workers? I thank you. Meu nome é Letícia Maier, sou aluna do Colégio Dom Bosco de Rio do Sul, Santa Catarina, Brasil. Um dos principais objetivos da Organização das Nações Unidas é zelar pela segurança e promover os direitos humanos, sendo assim que medidas serão tomadas diante das inúmeras denúncias de violência sexual por parte dos soldados integrantes das missões de paz? Mr. Kerem, a few remarks from the questions from civil society. Thank you, Mr. President. Trade agreements are definitely part of our life and our practice in today's world and part of globalization. So we should not regard them as a negative phenomenon and uh, they do not jeopardize our agenda on the contrary. Trade is important engine of growth and growth is now sluggish. We see that the whole world economy is going back to a recession and it reminds me on the year 2008, when I was president of General Assembly, when we had this financial blow and terrible situation all over the place. We have to be aware of that and not contradict ourselves. We need more money for development. Where will this money come from? If not from the engine of growth, and that is trade. We all sign these uh, uh, trade-free zones. We all sign this, uh, why is ASEAN formed? Why the African Union? Why the European Union? All of them to remove trade barriers. And removing trade barriers, believe me, has to do also with something very important philosophically in terms of the international relations now and its future. That is the national boundaries. We have nation states but we are confronted with global problems which go far beyond national boundaries. So whatever phenomenon decreases these barriers has to be promoted and supported by the United Nations. Uh, on the informal jobs, I would like to say something. Informal jobs speak for lack of rule of law. We have to have the rule of law implemented everywhere. This is why we say good governance is a very important task. On the local level, on the national level, on the regional level, and in the United Nations. And I would be contradictory to myself to contradict this because what I said in my manifesto is that good governance will be the guidance for the management reform of the, this organization. So we have to abide to these principles of 
good governance of rule of law to uh, fight and to combat this kind of anomalies and, and uh, short, uh, short, shortcomings which we are facing in Africa or also in, in other uh, countries. And we have to fight constantly for making women and men equal when it comes to labor law. It is a shame for this world in which we live in, in a globalized world of ICTs, of uh, technology progress, that uh, our law, labor of law is still more oriented towards the past than to, towards the present and the future. And this is where I would be uh, a fighter without a compromise for abolishing this kind of uh, phenomena. Last but not least, uh, promoting human rights and uh, sexual violence. Part of our philosophy of this organization is to go on the ground and to work with people. Life doesn't start and finish here in this building and in the 38th floor of this organization. As Secretary General, I can promise that I will be always be on the ground talking to people, seeing myself, feeling myself. There is no better argument than the one you can see, you can hear, you can feel. And definitely we must uh, uh, also start introducing the bottom-up approach in our work not always the top-down approach. We are an intergovernmental organization. It is about negotiations of governments, but our governments are accountable to our people. What is democracy otherwise about than that? So we have to do it in very concrete issues, including this. It is very sad that this young girl from Brazil has to complain and to, to, to mention that. And it's not a phenomenon in Brazil, it's all across the globe. So once it is a global issue, this is where the UN has to deliver. And I can promise that it will deliver. Thank you. We 